Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve the Windows Media Creation Tool error message. We're not sure what happened, but we're unable to run this tool on your PC. If you continue experiencing problems, reference the error code when contacting customer support. Error code 0x80072F8F-0x20000. There was a problem running this tool. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we are going to start off by opening up the search menu. Type in Internet Options. Best result, check a bank of Internet Options. Go ahead and open that up. Select the Advanced tab and then scroll down. Underneath Security versus Use TLS 1.1, go ahead and checkmark that and make sure TLS 1.1 and 1.2 are both checkmarked in there. And then select Apply and OK. And then see if that has resolved the problem. Something else you might also want to check is make sure you meet the system requirements in order to run whatever version of Windows you're trying to update to. So the media creation tool can be used to create installation media for another device or used to update date or upgrade your current version of Windows on the computer you're running the utility on. So in that case, in the second case I just mentioned, it could say that your system doesn't support it, which, you know, that's certainly possible, in which case, you know, there's really nothing you can do except to try and upgrade or update your system components to try and meet whatever the system requirements are for that version of Windows you're trying to upgrade to. Something else you also want to look into as well, make sure you have an internet connection. If you're unable to connect online, that is certainly a reason why you're having an issue with the media creation utility. And then finally, you, you can attempt to download and run the utility on a different computer and then try to install or upgrade that version of Windows now on the problematic computer, I would call it, or the first computer you were trying to run the utility on, kind of as a workaround, assuming you have another computer at your disposal. So pretty straightforward process, guys. Do a bias to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.